Hi, welcome to another uh, photo link uh, video on paint.net. Uh, this one, there are several uh, things that you're going to really have to add to photo.net. You know, they're, they're must-haves, and one of them is called the unsharpened mask. Um, the unsharpened mask I'm using here is available at www.fotoview.nl. Uh, please write down that URL. It's available in the download section. I'm not going to put it on my website because uh, basically uh, they want people to visit their website and I'm not going to try and steal their thunder. Um, the unsharpened mask is a very, very important tool in digital photography. Uh, I'm going to show you basically here how it operates. Now I'm trying to do a better job on my videos here. I had a comment on the uh, installing the plugins video that I didn't do a good job when I was um, uh, showing off the water reflection filter. I agree. I thank that person for that comment. I will respond to him by, uh, I'll respond back to him, but uh, he was absolutely right. But anyways, here's the unsharpened mask. Uh, basically up here, if you can envision, this upper half is the original photograph, and the lower half has the unsharpened mask uh, applied. In the 1930s in Germany, what they realized is by taking a blurred negative and yada, 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 and sandwiching with positives and whatever in the, in the uh, development process or in the enlargement process, they found that what, what would happen is if they took a darker edge that is darker than normal and a lighter edge that is lighter than normal or put sort of a halo effect around it, that it would appear, make the image appear much, much sharper to the human eye. So basically, that's what is done with the unsharpened mask. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get into the unsharpened mask at this point. But uh, to refresh your memory, you download uh, that, um, uh, that DL from the address that I just listed. Go into your paint.net directory, uh, drop it into the effects folder, and it will uh, appear. And it will appear under effects, uh, photo, unsharp mask. Now, I'm going to take a photograph here and we're going to discuss the dialogue flipping back between these two images. First of all, on the effects, um, what we're going to talk about here is uh, the, the dialogue first. Um, here is the dialogue. Now, let me see. Okay, we can't switch back and forth. But anyways, uh, the amount of the unsharpening uh, the unsharp mask is basically uh, how dark the colors appear. So if you have a darker edge, it's how much darker the dark port, uh, part appears and how much lighter the light part appears. Uh, the radius is how far out that extends from the actual edge itself. <coughs> and the threshold is uh, basically um, how small a pixel does it apply to. Does it apply to a very small pixel. In this case, it would apply to the noise. So you don't want that to happen. So what we have to do is we have to set that threshold if it starts uh, if it starts dealing with the noise. And a very important one here is does it apply to the luminance channel only and not to the individual RGB layers? Uh, that's important because in many cases color fringing can be introduced. So let's go back and let's discuss these three points. So I'm going to cancel this. We're going to go back. The amount is how dark and how light these, uh, the effect is. Okay, the uh, radius is how far this extends out from the edge. And the threshold is actually how fine a pixel that it applies to. So what we're going to do right now is, uh, very importantly, this can apply to a um, selection as well as to a, uh, the photograph as a whole. So if you want to do a brick wall or something along these lines, which is one of my favorite parts for an unsharpened mask, is doing a brick wall, um, just having it apply to bricks, what you can do is you can do that within a mask. And I discussed that in the Selection Techniques video. But what we're going to do at this point is we're going to enlarge this and see how this animal actually operates. I think that's a little too big. Let's try about a 400 maybe. Yeah. Now you can see the portion here that is covered 
by the selection and the, uh, the, the portion that's covered on its own. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come to Effects, Photo, and Unsharp Mask. And uh, we've got our Unsharp relatively cranked up here a little bit and, you know, so on and so forth. So we're going to say OK. And if you'll notice, that's exactly what happened. We got the darker and the lighter lines uh, that appear around our edges. And that's exactly what we talked about with this image right here. That's exactly what transpires. This is much more of an ideal case. Uh, this is much more of a real life case. Uh, unsharpening mask is a critical tool to have in your arsenal, in your toolbox, in photo.net, and um, it's uh, very highly recommended. Uh, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to um, use that unsharp mask. And remember, I think we've got even a little bit of it right here. What you'll want to make sure that when you're doing, when you're using that unsharp mask, is in many cases, um, in most cases, in fact, click that uh, luminance only. And what it's going to do is it's going to prevent some of your color fringing. That's very, very, very important. So that operates only on the luminance channel, and does not uh, operate on the individual colors, because in many cases, what you'll get is you'll get uh, you know, red, green, and blue colors. If you've got like a uh, red line, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get a red and a white um, or, you know, some form of that, um, you know, unsharp mask. So what you want to do is, in most cases, use the luminance only, which makes it operate on the luminance channel. Um, I thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, they're a lot of fun to make. And uh, please visit the site, uh, www.fotolink.com, bookmark it. We're going to come out with literally hundreds of videos on digital photography and the various software that I recommend, and I recommend this one. Uh, also, go to um, PhotoView's uh, website, which I had on the front of this. Uh, download uh, that... Um, uh, unsharpened mask on their download section. Look at their stuff. Uh, they got very high quality stuff. Um, and I thank you very much for watching and have a good night.